Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another match preview. Brighton going up against Aston Villa at Villa Park this weekend. Um, I've got a lot to say about Brighton so let's go and start on the uh, Villa end. Um, Dave, Jonathan uh, Cardia, sorry for my Spanish name, um, could return after a cheekbone surgery. Um, on the filler end, it's the only possible return they can have. What I've what, 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 got anyway. Um, might be a few more, but I very much doubt it. Um, as to the last one, their game, 5-1 uh, over Norwich. Um, you know, with the likes of... Actually playing well up at Norwich, I've got to admit that. Um, but this is looking a bit of a different, uh, you know, team. No disrespect to Norwich. Um, Brighton, uh, Trossard is available for selection again after his injury. Picked up at the, not the last international, international before that. He picked an injury up at where he was training with Belgium. Um, but you know he's still got a bit to do. Um, why on the third of Trossard? He's the last thing we've got to start thinking about. Would he be in the starting eleven? If he's not in the starting eleven, would he be in the eighteen at all? Or will Graham rest him and possibly save him for the Norwich game the week after? Um, my personal opinion, I think Trossard should be in the team. Um, even if he don't start, then put him on the bench. At least give him maybe a 10 minute run out near the end. Depends how the results and the score lines go in. Um, but you know, in my opinion, he's got to at least be in the team going to fill apart. Now here's a bit of the bad news for Brighton. Brighton have not... Uh, won a game in the last eight against Aston Villa. Um, now, good stats for Villa. Obviously, stats don't lie. Um, but the last time we went to Villa Park, obviously, it's heartbreaking for the Brighton fans, including me. Um, you know, I think it's a last minute goal by Jack Greenish 10 minutes ago, who battled Newcastle with the title. My opinion back then still remains now. We had plenty of chances, we still took them. I ain't gonna blame anything on Villa for that day. Um, I think we'd be wrong to blame them. You know, I always say if we don't do our job, we don't rely on other teams to do our jobs for us. We need to do it. Um, Duffy and um, Solly March will be available as well so another good two players available for selection um obviously i've already told you about trossard i think he should be in the 18 we're gonna have to wait to see to see if he's in the team against aston villa this coming saturday um sonny march now i'll get down to my starting 11 in just a bit duff I can roughly think where Duff's going to be, and you're probably thinking the same thing. Um, but Brighton are currently sitting in 14th in the Premier League table. Aston Villa are currently in 15th. A win for either team to put them in the top 10. We find them, it obviously goes on how the other results go. But, you know, put any team in the both. Um, a win for any team could put them both in the top 10. Uh, you know, we're both going to go for it. Brighton's last result was a 3-0 win over Spurs at the MX Stadium. Great um, result for Brighton. Um, great result for Villa. I'm just really, you know, keen to see how Villa go play, uh, how Brighton go play up at Villa Park. Uh, this bit again, I'm obviously putting close attention to on Saturday. Unfortunately, I'm not making the journey, but I will be hearing bits and bobs um, over Saturday. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this game. Um, 
But anyway, here's my 1 to 11. Um, sorry if I pronounce anyone's name uh, during this. I'll put my apologies out there now. Um, and you'll see why when I get down to a certain player. But in goal, I'll go with Matty Ryan. I can't see why Graham Potter would change Matty Ryan. Um, you know, he's not injured. I saw the interview with Matty Ryan over in Australia. And he's happy to come back. He's happy to get settled back down as quick as possible and to come and play with Saturday. So I can't see any changes there whatsoever. Um, in right back, I'll go with Martin Montoya. Um, I don't think we've got any other choice but to put uh, Martin Montoya into right back. Uh, you know, the likes of Burn Plan on the left. And so I think Martin Montoya will have that right back covered. Um, on the right centre back, I'm going full at the back, same as we roughly did against Tottenham. I know we played with wing backs, but I've managed to add wingers to this squad. Um, and right uh, centre back, I'll go with Adam Webster. Adam Webster, you know, great. I think he's been settling in great. Just think it's a bit unfortunate that Duffy's lost his, lost his place. But obviously, we've got to trust Big Graham and, you know, stick with what he's doing, get stick beyond the gaffer. Um, in left centre back, obviously, our captain, Lewis Dunk. Um, I'm very, I think he's very unfortunate not to get called up for England. That's no disrespect to Tyrone Maines. I will say it now, I do think that Jack Wingley should be called up for the England squad as well. So, there's another fella player. Um, but yeah, Lewis Dunk in the uh, left centre back. It'd be very interesting to see what I do with Dunk in this game. Will I keep him, you know, further back? Or will they then push forward when he can? Um, like he has done in a few previous weeks. Um, I don't think he did a lot during the uh, Spurs game, but as I said, this is going to be an interesting game. Um, in left back, I'll go with Dan Byrne. Obviously, I've said Mike Montoya's got the right, Dan Byrne's got the left, Bernardo's out. Um, and Dan Byrne has, you know, started a lot of games recently, so I don't see why Grand Potter would touch that back four. Um, in midfield, this round we're going to change it up just ever so slightly with the players we've got um, for this game. I am going to, as I said, change it up a bit. I'll put March on the right, Solid March. Um, you know, he is available for me from this Brighton end. We all think we've got to go attack for the fun the minute go. I don't think we can let the Villa pressure come on. Um, in the left centre midfield position, I'll go with Paston Rose. Um, I looked at the team that we played against Tottenham. Groves was on the right, um, but March is back now, so I'll put Groves back in that central role. Um, on the left side of centre mid, I'll go with uh, Dale Stevens. Um, you know, we ain't got no real um, midfield choices. Obviously, we've got Bazuma, but I think the way Villa played, this would be the best lineup for us possible. Um, and then perhaps put Bazuma on maybe about 20 to 30 minutes towards the end of the game, especially if we need a bit, bit of pace out there. But obviously, we've got to see how the game unfolds. On the left, Midfield, and this one might pronounce your name, and I apologise if I do. I'll go with Ali Ants. Um, you know who it is, anyway. Um, you know, with Ali Ants um, doing so well, I just wish he would stop diving. I saw the Newcastle game, I saw what he did against Tottenham, and I'm not happy. This is why VAR is in the game, and this is where. It could cost one of our players a red card or a book of offence. He needs to stop doing that and I'll put that on there now. Um, and in the striker's position, I'll go with Neil Mope. Um, You know, great goal against Tottenham. Good header. Um, but I think for Tongan, has got something to say about that. Uh, I re-watched the highlights of that game. And... Uh, 
for Tony just stood there, Neil Maipay just headed it in, well done to Neil Maipay for picking up on it quite quickly. And on the other side of strike, I've gone with Alan Connolly. Two great goals for Alan Connolly against Tottenham and has made his, um, you know, international senior debut. Uh, but, you know, great, uh, great um, lineup there for me personally. Guys, please feel free to put who you would like to see in the starting 11. What formation would you go with? Um, but guys, anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. So, uh, big fat fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.